Hey, what's up, everybody? It's a beautiful day here on Long Island, New York. Uh, with the weather changing, the, the sunshine coming back, and the temperatures warming up, I figured it'd be a great time to do a board quiver review on some of the boards I've built up over my years in Hawaii and Florida and even here in New York. So, just a quick uh, history. So, after college, uh, I graduated from school in Florida. Uh, an old high school buddy of mine who graduated from the Coast Guard Academy asked if I wanted to move out with him to Hawaii, uh, where we lived in Manoa Valley by UH and Punahou. And uh, he was there for two years. I was supposed to stay for two years, but I ended up staying for five total. But uh, it was a great time, great experience, had some amazing times, and uh, met some awesome people. Uh, the culture is amazing one of the best places ever and uh, also met some awesome surfers so anyway that being said let's get started so the first board I'm gonna discuss is uh, this Walden magic model this is an 80 Walden magic model double double concave I usually ride this as a two uh, one plus two um, this board is usually ridden by Shana she loves it uh, 80 Tons of fun, really easy to turn, uh, pretty easy to walk up and down all the way up to the nose. As you can see, the nose is pretty wide. Pretty low uh, low rocker, so it's pretty pretty much good in anything from like two feet all the way up to about overhead. So um, yeah, Shannon pretty much rides this most of the time and uh, try and get the kids on it as much as possible too. Hopefully when we go down to Florida. Second board I'm going to talk about is a 7.6 uh, gun, which I had in Hawaii. I bought this from a shaper, one of the, the best shaper I've ever known, uh, called Rodrigo Suarez, Brazilian guy, who shaped for my boss Hans, uh, I think primarily up by sunset. So uh, he shaped this board primarily for pipeline. Uh, I drove up to sunset, up, up the hill, and I bought it uh, when he was working in his shaping shack. I bought it for like 200 bucks. So. Uh, I never rode it a pipe, I rode it all over the North Shore from Rocky Left, Rocky Right, uh, Gas Chambers, and Hukai, so pretty much rode it in like overhead surf. Lots of fun, really stiff, held really good, uh, FCF fins, uh, got some damage on the trip from Hawaii to Florida, but uh, I'll get that fixed. Anyway, this is a great board, tons of rocker, so lots of fun. So this board right here, this is my magic board. This is the best board I've ever had. This is hands down the most amazing board on earth, in my opinion. It is a round tail, 6'6", six, six, uh, FCF fin, thruster style, uh, shaped by Rodrigo Suarez again. Um, I don't have these crazy stickers on here. I actually snapped the nose of this board up on the North Shore. I loved it so much, I had, uh, I believe it was Gabe actually, Gabe Garduki uh, fix it for me. Uh, so I put the nose back together. This is the logo from my uh, my first boss in Hawaii, Hans Hiedemann. Uh, I ran a surf school out there and I worked for him and he was actually one of the first people that gave me an, like tons of confidence and gave me a chance. He actually got me a blue card to uh, teach uh, in Waikiki as an instructor. So uh, great board again, Rodrigo Suarez, 6'6". Six, six. I rode this all over the North Shore all over the South Shore, uh, Threes, Kaiser Bowls, Ala Moana, uh, Diamond Head, uh, rolled all on the west side at Miley Point, um, North Shore, Rockies, Ehukai, Kupakea, Gas Chambers, Daystar, rolled it everywhere. I rolled this, this went with me everywhere. Amazing. Love this thing. So the story behind this board, so this is another 6'6". Uh, the guy who shaped it is Gabe Garduki, one of the best shapers I've ever met. This guy was awesome. He is awesome. He's a great shaper, great guy. He worked with Shayna a lot on designing all her boards. He uh, shaped her an 80 fun shape that she rode all over Hawaii. South Shore, North Shore, uh, it was a three fin FCF. Uh, she loved it. So anyway, the story behind this board is, uh, I love that board over there so much that, excuse me, Freaking allergies out here is crazy. So anyway, the story behind this board is, I love that board right there. 
that uh, Rodrigo Sara so much that I brought that board to Gabe and I asked it to shape it for me uh, or to duplicate it. Unfortunately, unless you have like a computer and a cutter machine, you're never going to get the same thing. But uh, this board came out great. It's a 6'6 six, six round tail FCF. High performance. I wrote it all over the North Shore. Actually, there's a... I wrote right here with a bunch of dings. I have Rocky Point on here, so... I got a bunch of dinks from surfing Rocky Point. Um, if I hit the reef. But, uh, yeah, this board's amazing. Thanks to Gabe. You're awesome. You're a great shaper, so thanks again. So, moving on. So, I met my wife, Shane, in Hawaii. We lived there for about a year together. I lived in Manoa first, then Makiki, and then I uh, lived right in Waikiki. So after we lived there, we decided to move to Florida to be closer to my family. And uh, once in Florida, the waves are pretty crappy uh, on the east coast of Florida, at least south where I live. And uh, I met a shaper called Mike. He owns Bird. And I asked him to shape a board based off the Circus 71 Hobie. And uh, he actually had a template for it. So this is what he made for me. I love it. Uh, it's a flint pin. Swallow, tons of fun. I think it's three inches thick. It's a six, actually, yeah, six four. Six four, 21 and a third, three inches thick. So this thing will ride pretty much any little wave growler in Florida. Uh, it's amazing. It's my go to board. I ride it all the time. It pretty much goes straight and fast. It doesn't really turn that great, but who cares? It's so much fun to ride this thing. Mike, you're awesome. You have the funniest surfer boards I've ever, ever heard. Last but not least, I don't even know if this is a board. This is a 6'8", or was a 6'8". Uh, the guy shaped it for me. A buddy of mine in Florida put me in touch with Dave Brown. He's from Florida, but he shapes out of California. Uh, this is a 6'8", uh, squash thruster, uh, FCF. Uh, the board is it's a great board. I just, for some reason, just didn't work for me. It didn't have the magic that some of those other boards had. Um, I pretty much just kind of held on to it. I was going to sell it. I was here in New York and I uh, went out with a work colleague, friend of mine, and uh, pretty much told him, all right, I'm going to sell this punk of junk and uh, take one more ride on it and then grab my other board. Uh, we're out east. Uh, Long Island gets pretty good. Uh, it's probably about six foot. And of course, the first wave I drop in on this thing, it closed out and I come up and the nose snapped off. So instead of fixing it, which would have been a real pain, I just sawed it off, glassed it, sanded it, and uh, just put this paint job on it. This board I'm pretty much only going to ride when it's like closing out and I want to just take off on unmakeable waves. I definitely want to try and break this board, snap it. Uh, I'm pretty good at that. I've probably had about 25 to 30 surfboards in my life. Um, most of them are guns that snap on the North Shore at pinballs and places like that. Uh, but yeah, overall, I got a great quiver. I'm looking into trying to get like another groveler. I'm looking into like getting a seaside made by uh, Firewire Robin Chato. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, tons of stories, tons of stoke. Um, just love surfing a lot. It's been a while since it's been in the water. I don't like cold weather or wearing wetsuits. But yeah, hope to see you guys in, out in the water. Uh, stay safe. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm actually also uh, making a couple hand planes as a project. So. Again, um, I'm going to send those out to Sean Anderson and to David. So anyway, see you guys in the water. Stay safe.